what what tune here is not a Dylan tune, but it's a, a significant. Where'd Sue go? She over yeah. there. Yeah. Sue, <coughs> this is for you. Get over here. <laughs> I need a quick sip of water anyway. But uh, through the years, uh, just as Tom did in everybody else's life. He'd go off and have these fantastic adventures in, on, in the four corners of the world. And somehow you'd be living a thousand miles away from the last place that he saw you at. And then all of a sudden there he was at your front door. <laughs> and you wondered, how the hell did he even know how to find me? But over the course of many years, uh, at a certain point, uh, my first wife, Lil, who's not here, um, Going back to that teepee in Norton, Vermont, <laughs> uh, after that occurred, that was January 1st, 1971, and Jeff over here, he was driving a hippie bus for the hog farm at the time. And he was actually in Norton, Vermont because they had collected all these supplies. The place where it was at was known as Earth People's Park, and a bunch of poor hippie fools were up there starving and freezing to death. Tom was okay. But the rest of them hadn't a clue as to how to exist in that kind of an environment. Jeff's real good at that, though. He's a wilderness guy. Uh, so anyway, I decided, hey, I'm going to get on the bus with Jeff. So I <laughs> said goodbye to Lil and hopped on the bus. And had we headed, I think we, Kentucky was the next stop. But in the meanwhile, Lil got in her Jeep, and she wound up in that teepee uh, <laughs> back in the winter of 71. But then that, it was, you know, that was the times. Lil and I wound up back together, and we were uh, together again around 1981, living on a ranch outside of Petaluma, West Petaluma. And Tom found us again, but this time he was with Sue, and uh, there she is. <laughs> Tim hadn't quite come along then. That was a couple of years later. But uh, Tom was all excited. He and Sue were actually very excited. He had this album, this song that he wanted me to hear that he thought was just absolutely, he said, Ern, you're going to love it. This is a great song, great song. I want you to learn how to do it. So finally, 30 years later, I <laughs> added it to my repertoire. But uh, uh, that Sue, is, it's one of your favorites, too. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, uh, actually written by Towns Van Zant. But the version that Tom heard and that he wanted me to check out was a version performed by Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so here's my best attempt, my best attempt here to sound like Willie Nelson for most of the song and then to try and sound like <laughs> Merle Haggard on the last verse. So bear with me now. One, two, three. Living on the road, my friend, is going to keep you free and clean. Now you wear your skin like iron, and your breath's as hard as kerosene. Weren't your mama's only boy, her favorite one, it seems. She began to cry when you said goodbye. fell into your dreams. Pancho was a bandit boys. His horse was fast as polished steel. He wore his gun outside his pants for all the honest world to feel. Pancho met his match, you know, in the deserts down in Mexico. Nobody heard his dying words Ah, but that's the way it goes All the federales say Could have had him any day Only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Lefty, he can't sing the blues 
All night long like he used to The dust that Pancho bit down south Ended up in Lefty's mouth The day they laid poor Pancho low Lefty split for Ohio Where he got the bread to go well, there ain't nobody knows All the federales say Could have had him any day Only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Okay, here's the Merle Haggard part Poets tell a poncho fell and left his living in cheap hotels. Desert's quiet and Cleveland's cold. So the story ends, we're told. Poncho needs your prayers, it's true. Save a few for Lefty, too. He only did what he had to do. And now. He's growing old. All the federales say could have had him any day. Oh, only let him slip away. Out of kindness, I suppose. A few gray federales say Could have, could have had him any day Only let him go so long Out of kindness, I suppose <laughs> Not the smoothest great nation in the world